Documenting of uh, wood cutting technique looks to be being brought into this forest here. Here's, I'm going with this season injury, like early in the season, but it could be a two seasoner or maybe more. I don't know. I'm not that, uh, um, you know, educated on it. Anyways, yeah, I got the shakes a little bit, but you can, we're just checking out the cutting in this area here, here, in reference to other cutting techniques that I have uh, documented. And okay, look at this. We almost look, think, or it looks like a slice. There's the cutting slice. Right there's a, one of the fingers, the nail slices, I think. There's more injury being occurred, incurred on this tree. It's being, uh, it's being prepped. Where we are right now is we're just in a spot that they're crazy to actually be this comfortable. They are crazy. You hear the train? Like, this is all their territory here. I know there hasn't been, uh, um, there isn't this kind of activity ha happening in these trails. I've been to these trails many times before. I don't know if I'm walking into a, a bad spot situation here, guys. I really don't. But, um, there's just trails that doesn't necessarily... It's nice and dry and stuff, and that's why it's given me the feeling they could have been just hanging out in here. It's not wet or anything, right? So, But I'm not feeling any body heat, so that's the nice thing. So I'm feeling comfortable, actually. I'm going with it. But you just look at where I am hanging out. Here, I don't know if you get it, but... So this is the wall. This is hangout area. Hangout area. Hang out now. Look at coming up to wall, all this new growth and stuff. I'm telling you, they're they are awesome at farming and growing. Okay, and this comes right around. It's a huge space. Like we're talking hundreds of square feet. Getting into where you would start, you know, interpreting it maybe more like meters or something. So we got moles and stuff that are hanging around that's good because then we're gonna have uh, more chance of uh you put some presses here and stuff see the wear there i'm telling you right now you guys this is all new this is new i don't know if this is two years old this area how it's been transformed like this i'm a natural tracker I just have it that's why I was able to figure this out I'm not a train tracker I'm it's not necessarily that I'm awesome or anything I happen to come across an awesome oh yeah more their finger scoring and see this that's probably last season but look at it's happened again see that and I'm on the other no I'm way down the river no I'm on the other side of the river from that uh, other big Habitat number one that has a lot of finger scoring damage on the trees or nail scoring. I'm called, I'm referring it to it as nail scoring. See, some of those ones can even be, a, you know, they're very sneaky. And then as the tree grows, it's not noticed so much. And what they're they're doing something with it. They're um, bringing it into sickness and maybe feeding off of it at times, milking them. I'm not too sure, right? But. That's what we're going to be finding out because now people are going to be saying, yeah, this guy's found something here. we got to do something about that. It's just amazing how they've cleaned this up. Our parks don't do this. I've been here before. We could never hardly walk in these trails or come into these bushes. I kid you not, man. size of that monster in here. Whew, that is one hell of a big tree. There's a snap of a branch back there. Very stealthy movers. That's probably a hand grab.
Okay, I left my camera somewhere. That score in there, the inside score. Yeah. Well, some people are gonna go hatchet and stuff like that, but I'm sorry, you guys. I've been watching their language. Look at this. Any tree specialist, bark specialist, and stuff such like that is going to see what's been going on with these trees. That that's not gonna be all natural growth. They're gonna start to see the damage that has been being done to this tree. Maybe it makes it grow faster. Okay. Okay, stimulating growth. You know, a little injury, it's like a scab then, right? And doo -doo 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 -doo. So they do it to a lot of the tree, because remember, I'm telling you, they do a lot of, um, they're doing a lot of tree farming and such. Anyways. We're just going to walk me out here, guys. Now we're into the parks area where they... Um, right in here on this side where they have... Uh, where people... There's about eight camp spots. I'm kind of surprised that no campers are going to this weekend. So what day are we at? Yeah, we're on a Saturday. There's not one person camping in here. Great little spots if you can put up with the drain stuff, right? You get a nice picnic area. Fire season's back on, I would imagine. Well, they've cleaned up all this very well. I'm going to have to talk to the cleanup guy about all that cleanup through the trails, too, and stuff. See really what's going on. Because that part there, maybe somehow the parks are doing something. That's a hand grab. You don't know what I mean by hand grab. They grab a handful of uh, soil and they toss it on their footprint. They're not really um, too swift on realizing that uh, handprints. What's that look like? Does that look like shoe tread? This would be a great spot to find to get a print. Let's see that for a hand. Uh, hand grab, maybe, maybe not, but it's very deep. Cool. This is a great spot for a uh, print, that's for sure. If it ever goes long, oh, there we go, right there. So we got, uh, I'm saying that's the heel, right foot, toes there, maybe. This is actually coming out of this really weird spot, or is that going frontwards? Okay, this is the toes. This would be the toe, I think. So if it's that, sh if you think it's shoe, or if you think it's, uh... seeing wear on here guys from them also humes that's right you're just called humes now man yeah see you see they look at that one's a good one right whoops right there I was well, maybe you guys were out of focus I'm sorry about that that one right there is a really good uh, nail one comparison Think about a starting end, think about an ending end. It shows the difference on everyone. Would it show it perfectly? I don't know. Because there is um, wear and tear that comes to them when people start to rub their hands on them and such. So that could be just kids playing around on the knife part of it, but the original score, 
I would say it was probably somehow our friends. See that where? That's all on there too, eh? For little guys to run up. Go off of here and then go on there and be able to get up through there maybe. Jump into the bush in there. And then they're down by the park here. There's a nice uh, mark, and that's from a big purple. Oh, that's when they cut off this branch, okay? See, this is probably them even with that maneuver. See, this part was really also full of, they've cleaned up the brush in there, I know that too. So where am I right now? I'm heading this way. Oh, there it is in front of me, I think. It's gonna walk us up to the bulletin board of the area. So I can show people and if people wanna do a venture out here and take a look around for our new critters in the area. There's my coffee. There you go. Come out. Just come out to the picnic area there and look around in the picnic area and the trails and stuff and maybe you'll uh, have some luck and be able to read some signs and understand. Go down by the water, look for paths, how they cut through there and such. Don't, the first picnic spot and stuff, it looks pretty cool in there, right? But it almost looks wondering if there's a human influence in it. I don't know. But they were never like that before, and as you go down the trail, it was never as tidy as that, so... I will be checking out further, it's just that uh, I'm pretty well out here, so 10-man adventures, Sasquatch adventures, is done for the evening. Take care.